up y'all, it's Kara here coming at y'all with a quick video. I just want to show y'all how I achieved my weekend look this weekend using the Naked 3 palette. So yes, I already went in with my medication, my eczema cream, and my Aveeno moisturizer and I did um, Fix Plus just to refresh it. Now I'm going in with my eyeshadow primer. I believe I use either my Wet n Wild or the Urban Decay Potion Primer. I'm not sure which one, but I did prime my eyes and I primed underneath as well just so that the concealer that I put hopefully can last a little bit longer. So now I'm going in with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Um, I can't say that this primer is worth $70. I mean, it played its part, it did its job for the day, but I don't see me purchasing it. Now I'm going in to my eyebrows, just going to go ahead and outline and fill those in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I am using the pomade in the dark brown color. And like I said, just outlining and filling them in. If you want a more detailed look on how I do my eyebrows, I'll link that video down below so you guys can see how I do it at a different angle. <laughs> so yeah, just going in to clean up those brows now with my Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator. I believe this is in the level nine or 11. I'm not sure, I'll link it down. Put that information down in the description box below. But here I am, I'm just, again, outlining and blending that out so I can clean up the brows. I wonder if you can hear Chloe in the background. <laughs> going in with my e.l.f., I believe it's the contour brush, I'm not sure, but going in with the e.l.f. brush, I'm just gonna blend that out some more. And now I'm going in with Sienna from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. You can use any transition color you'd like to use, but I just chose to use Sienna from that lavish palette. palette. And I'm using my Real Techniques buffing brush, I believe it's called. Blending brush, I'm not sure, but I love that brush for my all over transition color. So yes, going in with Sienna on both eyes, just as a transition. Now I am adding a base to my eyelids and I'm using one of the limited edition matte color tattoos from Maybelline. This one is in the color nude pink because it's working with the Naked 3 palette, you know, it's more pinky, rosy, gold kind of color. So I figured the nude pink would be a good play on that. And I'm just blending that out. I didn't add any more product, I'm just blending out that color tattoo. Now on the inner corner of my eye, I went ahead and I used Buzz from the Naked 3 palette. I love this color Buzz. Actually, I just think this is a nice spring look, which is why I decided to post this video because I love the way it came out. I pretty much freestyled this when I did it over the weekend. So I went in with Buzz and I'm going to do that on both of the eyes and the inner corner eye. We're going in with Buzz from the Naked 3 palette. And I'm just packing that on. I don't want to swipe, swipe it. I'm packing that color on so you can see the color and pressing it into that base so it can stick. Now on the outer portion of my eye, I went in with the color Burnout from also from the Naked 3 palette. And it's just a little darker shade than the Buzz. So I figured that would be a good complement to that color and I'm putting that on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm doing that to the other eye as well. Now I'm going in with a dark brown shade from my outer V. I believe it was a matte shadow. I can't remember the name off the top of my head right now. But I'm just basically going to build up that outer V corner. A lot of people like to use black. I personally prefer to use brown, dark brown shadows on the outer V for myself. And it was a daytime weekend look, so I didn't want it to be like smoked out for real for real. I just like the darkness as a gradient effect. And you'll see me with that Real Techniques blending brush again. I don't add any more powder, I just want to blend out 
what I applied with that other brush, which is a smaller crease brush, brush, so that I can really concentrate that color in that outer V, but also blend it out with the other Real Techniques brush. And you'll see me going back and forth with those two brushes just so I can build up the color in the corner the way I want it to my liking. And of course, going into the other eye because your eyes do need to match as much as possible. So I'm just going in with that dark brown on the other side of my eye as well. And just blending that out, building that up, blending it out, building it up, blending it out. And you'll see me going back and forth again with the two brushes just so we can blend it out. Uh, I think I lost a little bit of my color there, so I did end up getting a little bit more of that sienna and just going back in with that color so that I can blend out a little bit better. Going back in with the dark brown again so we can get those outer corners on that eye to match the other eye and blending it out again with that Real Techniques blending brush. Building, building, building that dark brown color. And again, you'll see me blend it up. Now I'm going in with another shadow from the Naked 3 palette and it's in the color Strange. It's just like a matte, creamy color. So I'm gonna use that for the inner tear ducts just as a highlight color. And I'm also gonna go in, you'll see in a second, that I'm gonna go in with that color underneath my brows as well. Concentrating that color in so that you can, so I can use it as a nice highlight. And I noticed a missing spot there, so I actually took a little bit more of buzz and went back in, and I'm just gonna go ahead with that Real Techniques blending brush and blend that out. Now using that pencil crease brush that I used before, I'm going back into the outer portion of my waterline and I'm just smudging out the dark brown shadow along with Buzz. I'm just smudging that underneath so that we can have a nice complete look all around the eye. And then using the same brush, I didn't like take another brush, I'm just gonna go in with the color burnout. No, I actually went in with Buzz by itself. Oh, you don't see that yet. With Strange underneath the eyebrow. Also, again, from the Naked 3 palette, like I told you before, I was gonna put that underneath my eyebrow just so I highlight and blend that out with that Real Techniques brush. And also taking the blending underneath so I can blend out that color as well. Oh, I guess it must have passed when I had added a little bit buzz by itself just on the bottom in the corner of my eye. But I'm gonna go ahead and blend all that stuff out. And I took a clean 217 brush that I got from eBay just to blend everything out and make sure everything is cohesive the way I like it. Now I'm going in with my Inglot number 77, the Balm Black Gel Liner. I love this liner. And also the Sedona Lace Liner. It's a bent liner brush. It just makes it that much easier to create your gel liner. Create your gel liner, that makes sense. To create your line using gel liner. So I love this brush and I love the gel liner. The combination of the both of them together is bomb. So yeah, this is me calling myself winging that liner out, freestyling it, no tape, no nothing. And look at me, I done freaking <laughs> put gel liner on my neck. Embarrassing, of course, you know, I always gotta do something clumsy or embarrassing in my videos. But yeah, I have a line of gel liner down my neck. But yeah, going back into the other lot. Oh God, I can't even talk, sorry guys. I'm going back in with the other eye with that same Inglot gel liner and 
just trying to make it match as much as possible even though it never does for me my wing liners do not be matching it although when i use tape and stuff it does match i just i didn't have time for that it was the weekend of course my kids are waiting my man is waiting everybody's waiting for me so they don't let me you know get into my zone so everything i'm doing here i'm basically doing really quick and i messed up my liner there so i'm going back in with one of those shadows just to clean it up a bit and I'm gonna go ahead and finish that knocking. Now I'm going in with the orange corrector from the MAC Pro Conceal palette underneath my eyes and I'm gonna use the yellow corrector for my nose area and above my mouth. Going in with my beauty blender, I just want to blend that stuff out, make sure it doesn't just sit there and it can't be. You want to press it into the skin, make sure it's blended out so that you don't see orange and yellow. <laughs> blend it out, blend, blend, blend. Oh, this is me actually putting on the Hourglass foundation and the color, I'm just using a sample, I don't have a bottle of it. The color that I used, I'll put it down below so you guys can check that out down in the description box. But I am using the Hourglass Mineral Foundation and I do like it. It's a pretty medium coverage foundation. I do like it. Um, it made my skin appear like really, really nice. I really like the finish of this product. Um, as far as purchasing it, I'm really not sure. But now I'm just going in with my LA Girl in Toast, the Pro Conceal stuff. I use that underneath, I mean, oh lord, underneath my nose, in between my nose and my mouth. And now I'm going in with my Kevin Corn in the SS, SX number 12, that's my highlighting shade. And I'm just blending that out with one of my, what brush is that? That's all the brushes that everybody was getting for a minute. Ugh, I can't remember the name of the damn brush. But I'm just going in. It's like, you know, the brushes that are like the Sigma concealer brushes. Little buffing brush. I like to use that with my Kevin Klein and but use my hand to make sure everything is blended out correctly. And then of course also the beauty blender. So blend it, blend it, blend it. The areas that I highlighted, of course, my face, down my nose. Um my chin and underneath my eyes. Going back in with that toast again. Just want to go over my mouth, make sure that part is not too highlighted, but just make sure it's covered. And I'm going in with a mixture of the Ben Nye Banana and Ben Nye Topaz powders to set all the areas that I did conceal. Now I am contouring with my Black Radiance Pressed Powder in the color Rich Mahogany. And I'm using my Real Techniques contour brush going down the sides of my nose as well. Just for a quick light contour. It doesn't look like a light contour, but it just is contrasting to the powder that I put on my face. Trust me, everything will blend down in a second. And I'm contouring also the perimeter of my face, just making sure to blend that out. Going in with my Real Techniques powder brush to brush off that excess powder. And going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark just to set all of that all around my face. Going in with my Hourglass Blush in the color Radiant Magenta. I love this brush. Blush. Uh, you saw me hold it about a week and a half ago. I've been using it ever since. I freaking love that brush. And here I'm going in with the Hourglass powder in Radiant, I don't remember the name of it, it's part of the palette, I'll put the information down below, but that powder, everybody's been asking me what my glow has been about, and that's what is causing this glow. I love the hourglass powders, I mean, they are the truth. Just going back in with my powder brush, making sure to blend everything out a little bit more, spraying some Max Fix Plus, of course, and then going in with some mascara 
here I'm using the MAC Extra Dimension Mascara and me and my lashes I like to do a lot of coats especially if I'm not using lashes so I want to make sure to you know dedicate a lot of time to my lashes so you'll see me going top and bottom I usually like to do three coats on top and two on the bottom just so that it gives that definition and I'm going in with my Elf Kabuki brush again just to blend everything out. I'm putting some baby lips on my lips and blotting that off so I can get rid of some of that excess makeup. Now here I am dressed and prepping my hair, putting my wig on, you know, get those edges laid down and get my hair wrapped underneath and get my wig popping. As y'all can see, I did not flexi route it overnight this was friday going into saturday and i just took it off from the night before and that was that so this is me putting it back on you're gonna see me detangle it which it really wasn't that tangled it doesn't take long for me to detangle it at all i'm really enjoying this hair if you guys haven't seen my video on this hair it is the purple kisses hair it's the malaysian loose wave and i will be doing a review on that hair shortly now I'm going in back for my lips using my Night Moth pencil. Oh, somehow you guys didn't see me put on my lipstick, which it was the Milani Vita Intrigue liquid lip color. So, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do my weekend look. I hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.